Hey, everyone. Hello. <laughs> it's Rita back again for another great week of Cricket Chat. Uh -oh. The dogs are barking. I didn't have time to take them for a walk this morning, so they're going to have to get a walk afterwards. So, um, Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, how was everybody's weekend? Mine was, oh my gosh, so busy. Um, I forget what even what I did on Friday, but it was busy. And then Saturday I spent in New Hampshire, and then it came home real late. And we uh, there was already the Zoom call in progress, but I had to duck out of that because my dogs got into a fight. I'm fine, but, but uh, they're, you know, kind of embarrassing. And then on Sunday, my mom called me and said, I want to go out, which we had planned on doing anyway. She makes, she can be so dramatic. So we took a nice long drive around the old neighborhood. I showed her all the things that have changed in Peabody. It's been a long time. And we picked up a prescription for her and then we went came to my house and she had something to eat and la 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 and then we took the um we took the one dog Lola to her house to drop her off she wanted to go home in time for dinner so we did that and then I came back here and said oh my gosh I've got a plan for tomorrow so that's what I did I hope you all had a great time it sounds like yeah, it's that it's that time of year when things are happening and even in spite of COVID, things are happening and that's awesome. Uh we're all going out. The weather's better um than it had been in the summer, hopefully. Uh for me, it's very fall starting to turn very fall like, which means in New England you dress warmly in the morning but you dress in layers and then as the afternoon hits you start peeling off those layers and then when you go to bed you uh you have to have your flannels on the on the bed usually that's what I end up doing put my flannels on this time of year um and woo it's lovely to go to bed this time of year when it's cold and everything so anyway um this week I hope, uh, hi, Alexandra, how are you? <clears throat> hi, Sandra. Um, so this week, I hope that you're ready for some really fun projects. I thought after having seen all these brand new projects, which I'm going to show you, um, let's see, we'll go to projects over here. And uh, the folks over in Cricut Design Team are really working hard. Uh, working hard for their money. And we're going to do these. We're going to try to do all of them. We did the unicorn last week. And um, let's see, which one am I working on now? Oh, the pineapple one. I thought I'd work on it because I love pineapples, just like I like flamingos. So pineapples, flamingos. And I thought they always seem to go together for me. But um so uh, I thought we'd do that one. I had a little problem with it, and hopefully when we put the one together, uh, when we put one together as a, you know, as a team, um, then it won't nearly go um, as hard as, as I had it on the way there. But um, there are a lot of these, and the thing that's cool about them is um, is that they can be modified to make it your own, just like I did with the unicorn, um, you know, adding a little bit of glitter and jazzing it up a little bit. With the pineapple, I was thinking, um, whenever I think of pineapples, like as a design element, I think of in the 80s when everybody, uh, well, at least in the New England area, had like pineapples on their door or like near their front door. And it was supposed to be a welcome sign. You could still see a lot of that um, on the islands, uh, on Martha's Vineyard or uh, Nantucket um, in Cape Cod. So 
that I think of that. So, um, so I wanted to do something in sort of 80s colors uh, or some sort of nautical theme. So that's what I was thinking. The other one I was thinking um, is because of the flamingos and the uh, and the pineapples being sort of together, I decided to change this up and use some really fancy. Yeah, Williamsburg too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm not the only one that remembers that. Okay, so I decided to use some um, some really cool uh, flamingo paper that I had, and um, I didn't get around to doing the front. I found a few images I'll show you, so that way if you go to do this, you can have a look. Um, I did find a few, and I thought, you know, like for my friend who's got cancer, I love the saying with pineapples where it says, be a pineapple, stand tall, wear your crown, and be sweet on the inside. I love that. I love that saying. So I went looking for that. Um, and so I didn't do a whole lot of jazzing up except change some colors out. Uh, and we'll do that. But uh, it, going forward for the week, because I, I didn't have a whole lot of time to plan for for today, but going forward for the week, I'll try to actually get two, because there's so many now, like there's uh, this one. Now, uh, Melody Lane's doing this one, but she's changing it to a Halloween tree, which I think is fabulous. So uh, I think that's on Tuesday. So check her out on Tuesday. So um, they, they there are these, what are the two, four, six, eight, nine. And after today, there'll be seven. So I'm going to try to cram them all in to, um, to uh, what do you call it? Um, to the week, to the week, so we can make this kind of a pop-up week. But then we have these, which are kind of slightly different. These are what I would call honeycomb because they, they sort of crisscross and that allows them to be pop-ups and everything and be really full. But these are more of a standard pop-up. So I'm going to do these, but not this week. So, so for the rest of the week, so we'll do pineapple today. And then for the rest of the week, we'll cram in these present, the tree, the dragon, the snowflake, the balloon, and then these two, the original two. So we'll we'll cram those in. Um, I like to take my time with them, but I, I just think they're all kind of the same design. So um, let's sort of uh, just learn that technique and then we can, you know, embellish on that technique. That's usually what we what we kind of do here. So, um, a few announcements before I get started. First of all, welcome. Hello. Oh, I'm glad you're here. If you're new, um, say you're new. And there are a lot of people here that would be very glad to welcome you. Um, and uh, that's it's really fun to be part of this cricket chat with our friends. Um, that show up every day or almost every day. And uh, we have a lot of fun. So we do this Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern time. And then the replays go on YouTube. Um, we also do a Saturday evening show date night it's called um it starts at five normally and we do a very large project usually from an outside designer uh in the past we've done pumpkins and barns and scarecrows and just big you know big sort of uh long t things that take a long time so uh we save those for saturday nights and we have a fun time there and then once a month we have something called a zoom call where all the people that want to be on it they get together and they chat and they don't just chat about cricket they talk about their lives and um it's a really nice community uh and very welcoming i think i saw when i was on this past Saturday, briefly, I saw like 30 people on. So um, that was kind of fun. Um, we also do giveaways and uh, the, who's for your fall banner? Yeah. 
Um, yes, of course. So, yeah, ask, and somebody will give you a link. Usually Melissa is good at that. But um, uh, let's see. So we also do giveaways, and we have a giveaway going on now. It's called the September Bundle of Joy. It's a, a beautiful, brand-new Cricut Joy machine, plus all the stuff you need to get going on it. And we've given that away every month since the spring. And... Um, it's we've had I don't know six winners so far, um, and we're doing it again. We do it every month, but uh, starting next month we'll be giving away the at least for a month we'll give away a mug press, and um, I was thinking as we get closer to the holiday we'll give away some m- bigger machines as well. So um, in addition to that, we also do giveaways for people who are patrons via patreon or who are facebook fans um you did awesome yay and so this is all about it's it, there are different ways <laughs> my friend molly and i were talking about this this is all about um learning to be adventurous with your cricket and you know sort of stepping beyond i'm a paper designer i like to do things in paper um but i do also work with all the machines including the brand new ones and the joy all the easy presses um including the little one and uh, so it's just about getting into the crafting mode um, and and all of that. So uh, so I hope you are, will join me. Anyway, and also thank you, thank you for the stars. Somebody gave me or some people gave me stars and I appreciate it um, a lot. So, okay, so we're going to be working on this pineapple pop-up card. And um, it does say it's going to take one to two hours to cut out. And it does have a lot of detail in there. So we're not going to have time to actually cut it out. But I want to look at it on the on the screen so you can see what it consists of because when you break these projects down um, you can sort of see uh, how things uh, get put together so when you click on now I was just in projects right I had a brand new I had a new um, canvas and then I went to projects and from projects I chose this and it comes in uh, with an envelope, and if you're new to me, you, you might not know this, but I'm not a huge envelope making fan uh, because I tend to buy them. But uh, in this case, because it's a kind of a themed item, I'm, I might consider making the envelope. But I usually just take and, and uh, put the envelope to the side, and then I look at the actual piece. So this piece, um, you see, there's the outside, and this piece, these two pieces are going to be the thing that holds the pineapple inside on the middle. And then these are the interior pieces for the card. And it's really cute. I'll cut out in yellow. And of course, I made adjustments because I always make adjustments. So what I decided was I didn't want this color to be the same as the pineapple. So the pineapple consists here of, let's see, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces, and then also four of the like fronds. So we'll put that together, but you can see that they have these slits in them. And so that is what takes so long to cut it out, um, which is why we can't, uh, we're not going to be able to cut it out today, but I've cut it out. So we're going to assemble it. Okay, so this is the outside piece, and you notice that there is a cutout. So you can do a couple of things. First of all, this is what's going to go on the inside. So if you use a solid color, like this is a solid color, then you'll see it like this, but you may want to uh, do something else, like I did with uh, with my, my uh, flamingo. I was thinking... Okay, this is on the back of my flamingo paper, which is like dotted, which I liked. And because the flamingo paper had some black in it, I thought because of the beaks, I made my card um, black 
But then with my other one, the one that we're going to put together, I chose pink instead because I was thinking, again, of the cape and prep and all that stuff. So here is what I chose for paper. So the point that I'm trying to make here is that there's a lot of room for your own personal touches here, whether it be on the front or on the inside or on the back of the card so that it really becomes your own. And typically with pop-up cards, they don't do a lot of decoration on the front. So that's why I tend to decorate on the front. If you want to do that, you're welcome to do that too, because it's fun. Or you can just leave it the way it is. I mean, obviously, once you give it to somebody, it will be laying flat. But um, it's pretty. It's a pretty amazing little design. So um, to cut this out, it's, I would, if, if I were you, um, it, what I did was I cut this on intricate cuts. Now, if you're new to me, you might not know what that is. So I'm going to show you. So first, I'm going to change the color here. And I can either do it up here under operation. You see? And I'm just going to change it to, I don't know. Let me change it to pink, even though I will choose what color I want to do, okay? So when I change the color here, that's going to matter as far as um, what, what, uh, what matte it shows up. And you notice I just changed my machine. I have set up, um, I have set up both my Maker 3 and my Maker side by side, like, well, well, the Maker 3 is on the left and the Maker is on the right. And if you have two machines, you can do that, um, which is really fun. Uh, so people might say, well, why do I need two machines? You can have two machines going at the same time, too. <laughs> so that's really fun, too. Um and, uh, and so that's what I have there. But you, when you're going to cut something, and in fact, I'm going to cut the card, let's say on the maker, I need to make sure that my machine is chosen that I want to cut on. You see that? So when you click on that down arrow, you get all the choices. You get the Maker 3, the Explore 3, you get the Joy, then you get the Maker and Explore family. Um, and the reason why they separate out the threes um, is because those machines use Smart Final and Smart Final really can't be used. You might be able to try it, but I I don't do it, but um, they can't really be used in the Maker and the Explore. I also have the Explore and Air 2 and the Explore 3. I use it regularly, so um, so we one day I'm going to have to get them all set up and, and cut them all on that um, all at once. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be a whole lot of fun. Anyway, um, so when I went to cut this, I, I hit Make It. And you'll notice that it sorts by mat. So all the yellow pieces are sorted. If you had a change of heart and you wanted to make these back again to yellow, but only for the for this, um, so it's not a permanent change. It's just for this particular cut. You can click on the image that you want to move and you'll see that three dots show up right here. Click that and you can choose move object. So when you move object, it comes up with this sort of pop-up window and it asks you, do you want to put these on any of these other pages um, or mats, I should say, or do you want to put it on a new mat? And you'll notice that the current one is shaded out because you can't move it to the current one because it's on the current one. So let's choose the green. And when I click on that and I hit confirm, you'll notice that it comes onto this page and it changes the color. It's only going to change the color temporarily, not on your actual, um, your actual original project. So do keep that in mind. If I want to move both of them, I have to do that individually. So you see, and I do have to move it around to make sure that um, it's all going to fit. You do not want anything overlapping because the machine will actually cut it and you'll end up with uh, like 
cutouts on your on your pieces. You need to make sure all of those pieces are are uh, best like they're spaced well. They don't have to be super spaced out, but they have to be completely not touching each other. Okay. Now this. This particular mat, the one with all the pieces, I cut this one on intricate cuts. So I want to show you what that is. So um, a lot of people who have never done paper, uh, you know, a lot of people when they started out with their Cricut, they started out, they wanted to do like iron on or they wanted to put vinyl. And you, when you get done with, uh, when you get done with, uh, putting vinyl stickers on everything, which everybody goes through that. So don't be ashamed. That's something that everybody does. But when you get done with that, um, you start looking for other things to cut. And for me, um, it's always been paper. That's my medium of choice. But sometimes uh, the cutouts are so detailed that um, the machine, because it's, you know, it's a manual machine it's going back and forth and everything. Thing. It needs to know to slow down and take a little extra time. So um, what you have to do is go to browse materials and look at this cardstock. So you'll see that it, under cardstock, you have a couple of choices. You have uh, light regular cardstock or medium cardstock and heavy cardstock. And this is based on poundage, okay? So they consider light cardstock to be about 65 pounds, which if you are um, unfamiliar with cardstock weight, most cardstock that's on the market is a medium weight cardstock. So most of the time I cut on this medium cardstock, but sometimes you can get really thick cardstock. Basil is one of those manufacturers that makes really thick cardstock. Uh, the Cricut cardstock, which is not always in stock, but um, I love the Cricut cardstock. That is a medium uh, cut. I always use medium cardstock setting and um, it cuts beautifully on the Cricut because it was made for the Cricut. The other, if you're, if you're interested in stocking up on cardstock, the other place is Michael's to look for cardstock. And I can give you a link that's an affiliate link to Michael's, but Michael's has these sales where they uh, sell these packs of cardstocks. They're usually 50 in a pack and it's going on right now. Hold on. I'm looking to find my... I don't, okay, well, I can't seem to find... Okay, here we go. So it looks like this, only this is the vellum one. So it looks like this, and it's called Recollections. Where does it say? Recollections right here. So they sell this, and it's cardstock, in 8.5 by 11 inch size, and it's usually 50 in the pack, okay? And um, sometimes it's like a theme, like seasonal, like spice market. Sometimes it's like all yellows, different shades of yellows, different shades of pink, different shades of red, green, that thing. And sometimes it's all one color. Anyway, they're on sale this week or at least for a week. Um, and they are $3.33, which is about half price. They normally sell for five ninety nine, and that's American five ninety nine, um, and they're on sale for three dollars and thirty three cents. You don't have to buy four or anything like that. You can just buy one. I use um, the white and black almost exclusively for my projects. It cuts really, really well. It's a nice cardstock. Um, the other thing that they have on sale. Uh, just now, just this week, is that they have their hot buy paper packs, and that's buy one, get two. These are paper packs that retail for, for $20, $19.99, and if you buy one, you get two free. And yesterday, I took advantage of that sale, and I got myself um, six brand new Christmas 
uh, yeah, were they all Christmas? Yeah, they were all Christmas. So I got six brand new Christmas packs. So sorry, tangent. Anyway, um, when you have something that's cut out very intricately, you should choose this cardstock for intricate cut. And what you'll notice is, yes, it's slower, but it takes the time to go through all of these little, look at all these little tiny cuts, and it makes them all beautifully. <clears throat> and uh, it does take time, but there are a lot of like these slices and then there is even some scoring here. So I would suggest intricate cuts. So that's all I have to say about the cutting of that. And so let's kind of get down and dirty, put this thing together. Okay. <coughs> so this is what um, you get when you cut it out. So here, I cut this out in pink with the white here. But if you wanted to, you could cut out a little square, even by hand, and put it there. Or if you want to cut out two colors, like green and yellow, and put it on the inside because it's going to be covered over here. I think that would look really nice. But I was thinking... Cape Cod and sort of a preppy theme. So I I chose this pink, all right? Um but again, you can do it any way you like. And then so there there's the outside card and then there are these two inside pieces and then these pieces are going to be the pieces that you're going to uh put right here but not yet and you're going to secure your pineapple into there through these two slits. You see this slit here? And sometimes you have to um, make it a little wider or cut out the, th the part that didn't cut out. So there we go. All right. And then we can just kind of put this aside. And again, you can do anything you want to this. You can add a front to it. You can add maybe a sentiment on the front. Like I was thinking, be a pineapple would be kind of cute, you know. Um, and then if I didn't choose such busy uh, paper, I was thinking, oh, be a pineapple, wear your crown, stand tall, you know, somewhere I could put it. <laughs> Sorry, on there. Ah! Sorry. Okay. So then if you put aside those pieces, what's left is the actual pineapple. And let's look at the pieces. So there are these big pieces. Now you'll notice that they're different. So you have two that have the pointy top. That's what's going to take our, our uh, greenery, okay? You have two that are you know, nothing special. They're just the regular pineapple shape. And then you have these two that have the tabs here. Thank you. <laughs> and sorry about the wonky lighting. This happens every fall. Um, and then we have these, which I believe are all the exact same, but they are very intricate looking. You see? So they all have these one, two, three. Yeah, I guess they're three slits. They all have these three slits, and that's going to be where we put together um, the, like, the outside, okay? So just kind of show you. That's how this is put together. Um, okay, so to put this together, we're going to take um, the main piece and I'm like sitting here going, okay, Rita, how did you do this? Yeah, we're going to take these main two pieces and look how these go together. Now, if you don't like to glue, this is a great project for you because glue is not required except for on the greenery, okay? But so once you have that, you can see that you're basically making like a honeycomb structure. So you're going to have... Each one of these that has the tab, one goes on one side, one goes on the other side. I will tell you that, and this, see how this is going on here on the second one in. I will tell you that when I did this, ah, I'm trying to think. When I did this, I struggled. Yeah, I struggled with, with this because... 
<clears throat> the greenery kind of sticks out of the card. All right, so I did this, and um, that one here is the tab, but then I'm going to take this one and put it in this way. Uh, okay. Let me just make sure these are all lined up. Okay, so you see we're making like this, this honeycomb, okay? And uh, <clears throat> then we're going to take this one. So I want it to be on the opposite end. So I'm going to, uh, oops, sorry. And this is being difficult, sorry. So, um, okay. So I'm going to take this one and see all the slits here. And this one also has the tab. So I'm going to try to get it on the other side. But the cuts are on the top. So um, that indicates to me that I need to bring it in from the bottom. Like right here. Because they have to match. Like the slits have to match so that you can uh, slide them all the way down. I know that's a little confusing and I'm confused myself a little bit uh, sometimes with this. So, hmm, let me just take a second. That sneeze really got me out of character. Okay, so we have the two middle pieces and then we have the side piece. Right, and then where does this go? Oh, here, I believe. Yeah. Yep. And this takes a little patience. Um, if you don't have it, then uh, I, I hear you. Sometimes you're just not patient enough. Uh, for a particular project and that varies from day to day <laughs> so don't get like all bent out of shape if you um if you don't have it today because it might come back tomorrow and so I am trying to get this in here and there are three slivers here and it does take a little patience which I know is a virtue. Oh, there it is. Okay. So you have to make sure all three of those go in. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. So there is that one. You see? And then we're going to take the other one. And going on the other side, we're going to slide it into these cutouts or splices or something I guess you'd call it but you have to do all three of them so you have to kind of wiggle a little bit here all right so once you have the structure down which is what I have done here by doing these this is what you're gonna have it look like the only thing is um is the tabs. I don't know. I am having a little trouble and I looked at the directions and everything. Um, but the, the point being this has to fold like this, right? Um, and it has to do it easily. So there's no glue involved with this, but the tabs have to get positioned, um, on the cutout piece. So that way it closes with the card, but, <clears throat> So there's that. Um, then once you have the structure done, you could take each of these pieces and there's four of them and you're going to slide them down just like we did the other pieces, but on each side, one goes on each side and we'll slide down like this. Patience is a virtue, Rita. Uh, okay, here we go. And here we go. Where? There. Okay. I don't know that there's a secret to this except patience. 
but this is how it goes. And it might get easier as you do more, but uh, I'm not finding that to be true. <laughs> All right. So um, one of the questions that I did get this weekend was, are these doable on the Joy? And, you know, they are. Uh, the only thing is uh, you have to be... You have to take away the uh, the actual like cover, uh, the the base of the card because that base is too big and it has scoring in it. So you don't want uh, the joy doesn't do scoring. Um, so there we go. But all these little pieces could certainly cut on the joy. Ah, we did one, and then we're going to put the next one on and the next one until we have four on there. <sighs> okay, here we go. Maybe this is an easy way to do it? I don't know. But, hmm. So tomorrow, I think that we'll do, um, I was thinking that we'd go back and do the hot air balloon and the cupcake, because those are the first two that came out. And I think they're probably the simplest to do. But, um... <laughs> uh, I'm just not doing this too well today, so. Wah. Okay, here we go. Now, this piece is in there. This piece needs to go in there. And then this piece needs to go here. Why are you having such a hard time with this, Rita? Oh, well. So, um, and now I did it wrong. I was doing it and I did it wrong. Okay, this cutout goes here. There are actually four touch points. There's this one, there's this one, and there's this one. Like this, right? Yes, like just like this. One, there we go. Okay, there. Just like that. Okay, you see how it's becoming, um, it's coming into being, I wonder if you could do it on the side and would that work? But, uh, could try that. My goodness, this is tough. Okay, here we go. There, there, there. Yay, it's it getting easier, I think, because it's starting to have shape. All right. I'm just making sure all those pieces are pushed down. And then here's the last one. There we go. There is the last one okay so now we have a really nice pineapple you notice we have these two tabs down here that's fine I'm thinking that's going to be the correct placement for the tabs I hope that it is um, and then what's left to do is the leaves now what they suggested to, that you do is to um, glue each there's four of them so glue each of those in together like that um so that it gives it kind of like a it's not like going to be too flimsy i don't know if it's gonna no i have to glue it like this unless they cut them out separate like that okay so there's one two and then the three and four this okay and so you'll see here that there are two slits on this one and one on this one so I understood that to be that it's going to go like this to make the crown 
you see? But then this slit here is going to be for these pieces that are sticking up, right? So uh, like this and mm, mm, mm. the important thing about this and actually you could just make little little honeycombs if you wanted to um but we make cards here so all right so the important thing about this is that you probably need to do a drop of glue to sort of hold it in place but um you need to make sure it gets really down onto that spike because if you don't it will stick out of the card okay so i um, trying to get a little bit of glue here, just a tiny drop, just to hold that in place like this. Also wanted to ask you guys, what do you want to make this Saturday? Do you want to do a fall thing, a Halloween thing? Um... Uh, do you want to get started on Christmas decorations? What do you want to do? Because we can uh, use our time whatever way you'd like. We did a barn. I know people were asking for like a haunted mansion or a haunted house. Um, and also that witch head, witchy, witch, Winnie. Oh, I don't know what her name was. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie, Winnie the Witch. Um or signs or what 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 want to hear what you have to say so okay so here we go all right so there is our our um pineapple and you see it is very movable and it's flat like this you can flatten it there's like two ways that it can go you might want to just kind of train it. So then uh, we're going to take our card and we are going to see these two tabs down here. We're going to uh, get them into these pieces. So you see that they're real close together, just like that. And um, one, we're going to have to figure out which way they go, but one's going to go into this and we're going to glue it down but not right this second. Um, and then the other one will go in here. If it helps, you can turn it upside down like this. I'm still going to have a problem with my, my greenery falling off, but uh, we'll fix that. We can fluff later, right? So on the underside, which I did wrong here, there we go. On the underside is where those tabs are going to stick out but don't glue them just yet because you want to make sure that your card can fold well i am all thumbs today what is going on come on rita all right this yeah that's good that works all right so these are the backs. So I'm going to sort of open these out and put them where they're going to get placed, which is here. And then we're gonna talk about that greenery. But this, if it goes like this, you see, then we'll be able to close it like that. So I think that that is good placement. So we're going to take a little tiny bit of, of glue and put it on the end of this. But you might have to force it a little bit because we want for it to be sort of uh, not straight. It's sort of, it needs to be sort of at an angle, if that makes sense. You see, like that. <clears throat> allergies that's what i think is bothering me is allergies they got me off my game so all 
There we go. So all of you that follow the dogs, um, Benji, Teddy Bear, and Lola. Uh, Lola made a trip to my mother. My mother is um, in a new place, a new work, a new uh, living space. She came from New Hampshire, and uh, she lost her dog. Actually, we when she came down here, we had to euthanize him because he was just so old and he was having trouble getting around and he was at the end had some some digestive issues anyway she's now saying i want another dog everybody here has a dog which is untrue but my mom <laughs> my mom's funny she like she's very childlike and uh she gets so that she's um like i was talking to another one of the newer product experts yesterday and she was like excuse me I'm here and like it she didn't want me to she didn't want to spend her time while I was talking on the phone with somebody she was like I'm here so pay attention to me or when you get into the car she turns off the music um she doesn't like any competition at all so Let's see if this works. Okay. Come on. I'm hoping this is going to work. You might have to do some fiddling here. Do I need to do some fiddling here? Maybe I have to have it close this way. Yeah. Okay. So what I've noticed about this, it doesn't like open... You might have to give it a little bit of a fluff when it opens, but it's good to get on here like this. The only thing that I struggled with was the greenery because on my original one, which you'll see, see there are the tabs on this one. There's the tabs on this one. So they are correctly placed but my greenery when I closed it after I put it in it sticks out the side so I'm thinking that it needs to sort of go down a little bit and so you have to train it a little bit like that and you definitely need to make sure that it's working because you don't want to give a card that's not going to work but this this part with the greenery does take a little bit of patience. So, and I really think it's supposed to go down so that you don't, yeah, so you don't see it. So that's what we have to make sure that happens here is that when we close it, this and then we got to take our greenery and put it on so that it's really in there good and on there good I should say so um, make sure it's really down deep into the actual pineapple there we go. There we go. Like this. But I I would say <laughs> I feel like I'm I feel like I'm decorating a Christmas tree actually. Um but it has to be really down in there and it I would say glue it because it comes off too easily. Come on. Let's do this. See if that works. So to answer Dawn's question yesterday about Lola, so we brought Lola uh, to when we were going back to her house, which I was dropping her off, and um, she was out on the grounds, and she really liked it, um, and she was, like, relaxed. And so I'm thinking, mm, maybe I have to have my a talk with my older sister and see. Let's see. There we go. And see if that's going to be. There we go. You might need to do a little fluffing, but 
whoa, that it's supposed to uh, fold so that it's down here, okay? Um, so the thing about my mom is that she has dementia, and um, so she calls it short-term memory loss. Um, we don't know yet what if it's Alzheimer's or not, but they have, um, she has appointments for going to the neurologist soon. And, um, I think she could take care of, of the dog because she's pretty low maintenance, the dog. Like she gets fed twice a day and that's kind of it. You just give her a walk and she's very good. She doesn't make any messes and she's she's awesome and cuddly. She does not cuddly at all to my Benji. So I think she could be able to take care of it. Expense was my sister's concern, but I told her, well, maybe I will put Lola on loan <laughs> with my mother until like if there became a time where she couldn't walk him then um, that's that. But what you should have seen some of the ladies at the place when they saw her, and she was so friendly. She went right on up to everybody and gave little kisses and everything. So I think for Benji and for Lola and for my mother that this might be a good uh, a good option. My mom's on the main floor, so she can just walk right out her back door and she has like a little patio so they can sit out there and everything. It's very pretty. So um, there wouldn't be any like stairs or anything. And she's not a puller and stuff. So um, anyway, so that is this, uh, this pineapple pop-up card. I think this one is challenging. So maybe if you don't want to... Uh, be so challenged you might want to consider trying are you sure you want to cancel yes cancel you might want to consider trying to start with um these two which we're going to do tomorrow this cupcake pop-up and this heart balloon they're definitely less less as you can see less cuts here so it's going to go together much easier much much faster so we'll do those uh those tomorrow and then we'll move on to say the balloon present and the pop-up present and then we'll do the dragon and the snowflake so that way we'll get them all in um oh christmas tree too forgot about the christmas tree so we'll figure it out but um that's what we're going to do for the rest of the week. Pop-up, honeycomb pop-up cards. I hope you enjoy this. And um, be sure to get your name in for the giveaway. The September um, Bundle of Joy giveaway is going on now. I will post a link. And there will be a link on YouTube. Okay? I won't post a link for this project because I didn't make any super changes to it. Um, I think it's just simply. Uh, a project that you have to make uh, on your own and uh, but it is challenging so don't get discouraged and if you find it's a little too challenging then maybe switch to one other one because they're all similar kinds but some of them are a little more detailed than others so all right, everyone, thank you so much for coming today. I really appreciate you, and I appreciate the fact that you guys are so eager to share um, and, and just be a part of our community. It's a great little community. So if you're new, welcome, welcome. And if you're old, thank you, thank you. And we'll see you. We'll see you again tomorrow at nine. Take care. Bye.